Hey again everybody. So um, I want to talk to you about assembling a demi loom table. The joinery is a little bit curious because we're dealing with some odd things. We have curved joinery, we've got veneered pieces, we've got some other things that are sometimes problematic. Oh yeah, there's also going to be a drawer in this. So let me show you what this one looks like. So I'm looking at this piece here, which doesn't look like much at the moment. But a couple of the pieces here. So obviously the back, the front's going to have a curve. What I have here is pretty traditional joinery here. I've got a haunched tenon, and this one is going to go into this leg. Um, you'll notice that this is being mitered on the interior corner. The front uh, leg will not have a miter uh, or a miter on the tenon, and I'll explain the difference here in a sec. But this thing slips in here. Uh, I've got a video series on how to cut those on the table saw and hopefully that'll be helpful. Uh, okay, so then the other elements here. I've got the front leg with part of the apron already assembled. All right, that's good. So I have this piece here and there's not much to it. I probably should have left that out, shouldn't I? Okay. So the front legs where the curved joinery uh, meet, these are going to be assembled with a pretty long and arguably substantial sliding dovetail. And so fitting this thing in here, I've got uh, a decent fit here, uh, nothing, nothing really touching or engaged on the ends of this. I really don't care. What is important is going to be the capture of the dovetail angle and that is going to pull the apron nice and tight into the leg. So as long as I have those pieces in place then I'm in good shape. Um, and I'll show you some videos on how to cut these things but this is what I'm trying to find. Good snug fitting joinery here, snug joinery on the more traditional stuff here as well. Alright, so getting those to go together So you can start to see this thing take shape, hopefully. Yeah, let me move this. So we have a demi loon here and the way and the format that I think makes sense to start thinking or considering building this. Um, there's gonna be more shaping on the legs and more work. Obviously the top, I'll do another video about how to get that assembled. But this is, this is what we're talking about. When we start having a conversation about how to fit a drawer in here, which is the reason that there's no joinery between the, the front center two legs, um, is because that drawer needs to take shape in here. Traditionally, this would be made with uh, some type of a bridle joint. So there'd be a curve continued all the way through and all the way around, and then we'd have two flat faces here. The leg will then slip up into that bridle joinery piece. But because of the drawer, if I were to continue this thing over, I, I feel like I've got more glue surface good, but I have less of the mechanical advantage that the dovetail shape is going to create. And so this is going to be the driving force of, of holding the whole thing together. So, um, all right, so drawer dictates this, good, there, there. And those are really easy to do once you start getting into um, the, the next series of videos. All right, so I have these pieces, again, sliding dovetail on the back. I've got left and right. This piece chipped out on me here when I was removing it a second ago. I'm gonna hang on to that piece. I'll glue it right back in here, and this will be as good as new, as they say. All right, so I think the wood has swelled a little bit when I fit these things. It was a little bit more seamless to get in there. But what I have when these are closed is I have both of these legs the same distance from the back to the front so that this curve will look continuous when the top goes on. Um, if one of these things were longer or shorter than the other, then you start getting into some real trouble with uh, aesthetics and sometimes structure as far as the footprint 
where all of these legs match or uh, meet on the ground, your eye is going to be picking up on that thing right away. And just as a side note, you might notice that there are six legs on this tiny table. Yeah, so two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is an absurdly ridiculous uh, amount of legs for such a small table. Uh, I did it because if I wanted to have a nice continuous curve over here, that would extend out to a really sharp point where you can't see. It would extend out a really sharp point on the outside ends here and here of the top. Um, if I were to just have four. So one, two, three, four. So I thought this would be kind of a nice variation of this. And so um, I'm, pl I'm playing around with this. This is a really, really ridiculous, tiny little apron, but um, but I'm playing around with it. We're, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I don't wanna get too much into talking about setting up for the drawer just yet, because I'll do that better justice with the, um, the drawer video. But you will notice before I could install these pieces permanently by gluing them in here and then attaching them to the front legs, uh, you'll notice that there are grooves cut out here. Those are going to be glued in. That will create the environment for my drawer. So I need to put all those together. Um, but again, when I'm ready for doing the drawer, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, okay, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you have a better understanding of this. I will show you some better pictures and video, video of these pieces as they develop. Thanks.